YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome to a 3v3 in Total War, Warhammer 2. Let's actually put it in slow-mo so we can get a feel for the battlefield real quick. We've got Tomb Kings, Lizardmen, and Beastmen going up against Greenskins, uh, more Lizardmen, <laughs> and we've got Dwarf Warriors here, so, or uh, Dwarves. So let's check out the Tomb Kings. Looks like Skeleton Warriors. There's some Ushabti, Tomb Guards with Halberds. Uh, we have the Sphinx of Uskef and a Tomb King on a Kimrian War Sphinx. There are some Chosen of the Gods here and a new shop with a Great Bow here for the Lizardmen. We've got a Skink Priest Lore of Heavens, Krokgar on Grimlock, two Bastilladons with Solar Engines. We've got a Skink Cohort uh, up front with some Saurus Warriors. And then for the uh, Beastmen here in the back, we've got uh, Malagor the Dark Omen. A couple of Minotaur units standing near Krokgar, Gorbol, more Minotaurs, and then a very cheap Ungor Spearline, a Saigor, a couple of Chaos Warhounds. There is a Goblin Wolf Rider Archer back in the back over here. There's some Chameleon Skinks up front doing a little bit of skirmishing with the Bugman's Rangers and enemy Chameleon Skinks. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, definitely a little bit outgunned at the moment for the Dwarves. Looks like there's two Thanes, um, both rocking Tormentor Swords. We've got... A Rune Lord, the Peak Gate Guard, Dragonback Slayers, Warriors, Longbeards, uh, Warriors, and some Longbeards with great weapons. For the other Lizardmen, we got Mazda Mundi, Sara Scar Veteran on a um, uh, <laughs> Carnosaur, my bad, Skink Chief, Saras Warrior Front with some Croxagores, and then for the um, Greenskins, we got some Orc Biguns on this flank, a couple of Black Orcs up the center with Azag the Slaughterer on foot. We've got the Arachnorok Queen, uh, some Boar Boy Biggins, Nasty Skulkers, backed up by some Night Gobbo Archers. Let's watch the action and see how it turns out. Sphinx of Uzkef is a very strong anti-large unit, very cool looking unit. Very expensive. Very expensive. The Chosen of the Gods are the ones that have like the... Uh, cool ammunition that kind of like explodes in the air. It's like some kind of air burst thing almost when they fire it. Yeah, you see it blow up there and then come down and spread out like that. It's so cool. So yeah, the Chosen of the Gods are targeting the peak gate guard and they're doing some pretty significant damage. Already got six kills. Yeah, look at him just devastating that peak gate guard. Dwarven Skirmishers are doing a little bit of work, but here comes the Kimrian War Sphinx and the, the Sphinx of Uskev. So the Dwarf Warriors are not going to like having to face that, and their Peak Gate Guard is definitely getting thrashed at the moment. Scar, uh, Sara Scar Veteran comes in quick, but it's getting targeted down by the uh, Bastilladons and the Stegodon here. Comes a bunch of Minotaurs towards the uh, Greenskin line, and the Greenskin line is not gonna like fighting all these Minotaurs. Cygor, Gorbol, Azag is definitely out of his league in this melee fight. We'll see what he's able to do. He is using Wa. Some of the Black Orcs actually ended up over here on the flank. The Arachnorok Queen fighting the Ungor Spear. The Sphinx of Uskef is now after Lord Mazdamundi. I don't think Saurus Warriors are going to be able to stop him. Here comes a interesting combination. we got a friendly Krokgar, an unfriendly Saurus Scar Veteran taking on Sphinx of Uskef. There's Croxagores in the vicinity too, but Solar Engine's doing some work. Let's see what happens here. Mazda Mundi manages to scamper out of that fight. The Rune Lord. Where's the Kimrian War Sphinx? It's back here. It got beat up pretty badly, so it had to retreat. The Tomb King's now engaging their infantry. So that Chosen of the Gods is retreating. Did some good work. Gorbol knocks out Azag the Slaughterer. No big surprise there. Like I said, Azag was out of his league in this particular case. And then the Boar Boys get a hold of the Saigor. Let's see, where'd that, where'd that Sphinx end up at? There's Mazda Mundi. Okay, the Sphinx is actually caught in a net here. Fighting a Sara Scar veteran. Krokgar's nearby, but here comes a whole bunch of Cold One Spear Riders, too. That's going to make things a bit tougher. The Sphinx is being poisoned by the Chameleon's 
uh, skinks back here. The solar engines kind of slowly doing their work here too. Let's see what happens. Big fight going on. The uh, Chosen of the Gods is under fire from the uh, Dwarf Skirmishers. It needs to move back. Both of these need to move back. Uh, yeah, the Chosen of the Gods just need to move back and target down these Bugman's Rangers because it has them outranged. So standing there and taking that fire is definitely a mistake by the Tomb King player. The Kimrian War Sphinx actually isn't getting that many kills right now. The green skins, though, look like they've gotten wrapped up pretty badly by the Beastmen. It's a lot of Minotaurs. The only thing that's still alive is some Black Orcs and the Arachnorok Queen, which won't be easy to kill, granted. It's being targeted here. The Pugman's Rangers just took a big hit. Let's see. Chosen of the Gods is still alive, and it looks like the uh, two Ashabti are going to move back a little bit. Let's see if they change their targets. They're being chased by Thanes. There's a long beard with great weapons still here, but Tomb Kings cutting their way. Oh man, a banishment comes in. That's going to be for Mazda Mundi. Going to hit a few friendlies, but that's going to be a fairly effective banishment. They killed a lot of Tomb Kings, but oh, right there at the end, it just goes right over the top of the long beards. So Mazda Mundi's help may not have been very welcome. The Scar Veteran goes down. And the uh, Sphinx of Uskef is pretty beaten up here, but it's managed to tear through. Let's see if he can... As long as he can get these chameleon skinks off of him, that Sphinx of Uskef will be alive for a little bit longer. The skink chief is getting targeted down by the Bastilodons with solar engines. These guys are going to be pretty deadly against those types of targets. Now the Minotaurs are going to come over here and start running down enemies. The... Uh, Shop two with great weapons. Or sorry, with great bow. The Chosen of the Gods has used up most of their ammo. Now they're going to enter melee. Let's see, so Mazda Mundi still protected by the regrouped uh, Scar veteran. The Sphinx of Uzkef still alive. Ooh. That guy just got a suntan from the Bastilodon. And the Arachnorok Queen's just bogged down over here, but um, she's got some support. She may actually win this fight against Malagor and uh, Gorbul. We'll see. It's going to depend on what happens with the leadership, I think. The dwarves are still fighting, though they don't have a ton of units left. The rune lord's still around. There are some longbeards here, and the peak gate guard has gotten 81 kills despite having been savaged so badly. But here comes the Kimrian war sphinx, the sphinx of Uskef, and a whole bunch of minotaurs who are going to come in like a wrecking bull. Bad pun intended. So, don't think the Dawa you're going to like this. That's a lot of damage coming at him here. Some regrouped units back here that Sphinx of Uzkef. Potentially going to go after? No, he's going to come over here and charge this flank. So, the dwarves are now surrounded, but they do have quite a few leaders left still. There's another Longbeard with Great Weapon coming in, so... Dwarves aren't finished yet. Mazda Mundi is... He's being chased down by several units, and he's going to be gone. So the Sphinx of Uzkef, Kimrian War Sphinx, all over the dwarves now. This dwarf infantry won't damage that Sphinx too badly, though he has lost some leadership there temporarily. See Shabti with a crate bow is getting point-blank shots into the Longbeards. I don't believe shields help against these big arrows from the... Uh, Shabti with great bow. The leadership of the dwarves is just difficult to break. Difficult to break. And despite Gorbul's best efforts, I don't think he can take down the spider. He's got 50 kills and is surviving in an impressively difficult situation there. And it looks like the spider hatchlings are trying to chase down Malagor, who's kind of fleeing for his life. Let's see what happens here. Kimri and Sphinx managed to get away alive. Sphinx of Uzkef's going to stay alive. This ball of dwarves is just proving difficult to defeat because of the Rune Lord. But Krokgar, pretty damaged, but he's still alive. There's a Bastilodon. 
has a little bit of ammo left. And this uh, skink chief is almost out of ammo. There's a few skink skirmisher or chameleon skinks back there still alive. But yeah, these these Dawe are definitely proving difficult to deal with. But many of them have been chased out. There are some lizard men here who can come over and fight. Those Bastilodons would do decent in this fight, as would the Stegodon. But they also have to deal with an Arachnorok Queen at some point. Looks like the uh, Stegodon's used all of its ammo at this point. And uh, Gorbul has come back from routing over here. Let's see whether or not he gets used. The Cygor came back from routing. Actually has some ammo here. It could throw at these archers or these black orcs. It would be pretty helpful. Any damage would be helpful. Trying to get rid of the skink skirmisher or the uh, chameleon skinks. My bad. That Sphinx of Uskef still alive here. It could definitely help against the spider here. But it's relatively weak. Looks like he was trying to save Malagor, but Malagor is getting shot by the missiles off of that spider as well. The Stegodon's gonna get engaged by the spider. Stegodon's really an anti-infantry tool. But with the help of the Sphinx of Uzcap now, this is definitely a heavyweight fight. The Sphinx has some huge damage. Anti-large and armor piercing. Gonna be a pretty close finish. Shopti with great bow go into the fight. Krokgar comes into the fight. Greenskins have the uh, Goblin Wolf Rider Archers that finally run out of ammo. There's a lot more um, infantry and a Bastilodon coming in. The uh, Ragnarok Spider not able to take down the Sphinx of Uzkef. And so it's going to get defeated. That's going to leave the Greenskins in a bad place. The Dwarves, though, are still tearing down Krokgar somehow. This Rune Lord is just proving, like I said, very difficult to deal with. I think these Lizardmen reinforcements should be able to help finish the job. Look at these wolf riders going after Gorbul. Yeah, right. Like Gorbul would ever let that happen. Yeah, right. So, there we go. The spider actually came back from routing over here, but got rerouted. And the Stegodon got rid of the Black Orcs, no big surprise there. Stegodon would be good with that. And now that leaves the Rune Lord and his Thane in a bad spot. So this should wrap up in favor, but I mean, it was a, it was a pretty gruesome battle. This looks like this Tomb King clinging to unlife here. Yeah, it's going to be pretty close. But I don't, I don't see any way the Rune Lord gets his way out of this. Not a particularly good melee unit. There's plenty of armor-piercing damage still on the battlefield. And that Thane is just outnumbered by so many s infantry there. Ouch. I don't know where that Thunderbolt came from. Where would that Thunderbolt have come from? A little bit confused on that one, to be honest. Oh, it was the Skink Priest. What was he trying to do with that? That's weird. It seems like it would just do more damage to friendlies. Yeah, the uh, Rune Lord's finally getting getting beat down. The Thane trying to get some reinforced reinforcements uh, from these few infantry that have come back, but the Cimbrian War Sphinx should be enough to take care of that. Here comes Gorbul, too. <laughs> Barreling in. You kind of missed the Rune Lord there, Gorbul. Come on, take him out, Gorbul. Yeah. Alright, well, Rune Lord's going to go down. It's a fun replay. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Thank you for all who participated. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. I will see you all back with some more battles soon.